Hey everybody, this is Steven. My channel is The Dungeon. Uh, on this channel, I'm all about uh, trying to self-improve with health and fitness. Uh, and I do that through just being active in the yard, uh, gardening, doing some home gym stuff. And this is the new thing that trying to lead a healthy lifestyle is with uh, bikes. Uh, I did a video um, of this one right here. That's the Trek Marlin 7 last week about uh, retiring a legend and getting a new bike. I encourage you to check it out. Um, but my whole family is getting into bikes. And uh, so we bought this one and this one right here the same day. But we just got this one in uh, two days ago. This is from my wife. And it's a Trek Marlin 6. And I want to talk to you guys today about the difference between this bike uh, and the Trek Marlin 7. And I also want to go over uh, my oldest kid's bike. My, my other two kids are too young to ride. And I'll talk about what we're doing with them. Um, but it's just uh, and being intentional and trying to be active. You know, when you make an investment to being active, then you got to make sure that you uh, make that investment worthwhile. So that's what we're doing here. We got some bikes that are high enough quality that will last a while. And if we want to continue to progress, we have something with a resale value to upgrade the bike, or we can just upgrade parts, you know? So that's that's kind of why I wanted uh, my older giant KDX bike. I had that bike for 29 years uh, and it's still usable. It just needs a front fork. And so that's why I wanted it was a quality bike here. So uh, I'm gonna go the difference between, between um, the Trek Marlin 7 and the Trek Marlin 6. So um, I do kind of regret getting the Trek Marlin 7. Uh, not, not originally because the specs on the specs, there's some things I liked about uh, this bike that, you know, that I thought was an improvement over here of the Trek Marlin 6 but they actually didn't put it on. So I'll talk over that negative real quick. So, and, and here it is. Pretty much this one has a um, Tektra uh, M275 um, hydraulic brakes, and they do work pretty good, right? Let me see if I can get in the camera. They do work pretty good. They look pretty cool. Tektra is, um, company that's made in Taiwan and um, China so uh, but this one was supposed to be coming with the Shimano MT200 uh, and so I actually looked at these on the website and this was supposed to be an upgrade it was supposed to come with the Trek Marlin 7 and the Trek Marlin 8 uh, as an improved um, brake pad and so I fail to look at it and say, oh, let's make sure it has all the parts it said it's supposed to have. So they just sold me the bike here at the Trek store. Uh, I got home and I did ride it around and I noticed that the, it was squealing a little bit. And so I, um, it turned out it wasn't, I thought it was the brake, but I actually just needs some little grease in the hub there. Um, so that really wasn't a problem, but because I was looking at the brakes, I noticed, hey, this is actually the wrong brakes. It's the, it's the Tektra um, M275. And that was supposed to be the upgrade that I was most interested in between this one and that one. Um, you know, a lot of people, they feel like the big difference they like is this one has a RockShox, which is a higher end brand name. And that may be true, but this is actually RockShox, a lower end RockShox. Um, and then my wife, she's got the Sun Tour, um, and maybe Sun Tour is not as well thought of as RockShox or um, Fox. You know, those are kind of the two top brands out there. But Sun Tour is still a legit brand. It's been around for a long time. And Suntour might disagree that Rock Shocks are better. Um, if I go and I just push on uh, the Suntour here, and then I push on the Rock Shock, 
I can't really feel a whole bunch of difference. I kind of feel like the Rock Shock is a little bit stiffer, so maybe that might be good for me because I'm a lot heavier than my wife is. So, um, nevertheless, I don't feel like the, the difference between these two are going to be, they both have coils. So the Marlin 8 actually had an air spring, which is highly adjustable, a Rock Shock, and that would be a major upgrade because it's just a lot more adjustable uh, and customizable of how you want the it the, the shock to feel. But um, I don't find I feel like um, I I feel like it, they're pretty comparable, in my opinion. Uh, however, I've gotten different stories about the comparability of these brakes. So, um, I called into the store and said, hey, you know, I've noticed that these don't have the right, you know, um, what's specced out on the website. They don't have the right um, hydraulic brakes. And they said, oh, well, they're pretty much comparable. They're the same. And there's a global problem. Well, I came in the store to do an adjustment um, that they told me to bring in. It, it was sort of throw up the chain, but they told me that eventually it would, that the cables would be stretched. And that's why I came in and I asked another guy about it. I said, hey, so are the Tektro um, M275, are they as good and interchangeable as the uh, Shimano um, MT200? And he says, no, the Shimanos are better and they, they do break better. And then after I told him, hey, I was actually wanted to know why this wasn't on there, they said, oh, well, it's a global problem and the truck can just change parts when they, whenever they want to. Uh, and we can't really get them anymore. We haven't had them for two years. Um, and they're actually absolutely just as good. Um, so at one point they told me, no, they're better. And then when they found out that I was questioning um, you know, why don't I have them on mine? Then they said, oh, well, they're actually just as good. So, um, I don't know what's the truth. Because they literally told me two different things. Uh, some guy on YouTube, he said that they're pretty comfortable and maybe they're just as good. Um, and the reason that bugs me, if it's true, they're, they're just as comfortable, just as good. I would have rather had gotten a Marlin 6. I like some of the color schemes on the Marlin 6 better. Um, and saved 150 bucks. Rather than get, I mean, that, that was the reason I upgraded. Because I'm a big dude. Bigger brakes, better brakes. They just seem like a... Uh, it's an appealing thing to me to have the best brakes I can for the bucks. Um, and so that's why I upgraded for this to the Marlin 7. Uh, so I understand they're probably doing the best they can as far as like they just don't have enough of, of those brakes. But I, if I had known that they were actually weren't selling me what they were supposed to be selling me, I would have chosen the 6. But I already have miles on it and now... Um, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's appropriate to take it back and return it for a six, but eventually I want a dropper post and I could have used the extra 150 bucks um, to save up towards to getting a dropper post. Cause the dropper post, you know, is anywhere from a hundred to 200 bucks. Um, maybe I can install it myself. And th that's just a bummer because um, I'd rather, I rather had gotten a six and then upgraded with a dropper post if I was gonna get the same brakes. Uh, but saying that, I do like riding around. Uh, it does brake so far. Um, I don't know. I, don't, like, I can't tell you if I'm disappointed or not because I haven't seen how they broke. You know, the, the Shimano um, MT200's brake comparable. I did walk back in the store and sure enough, their Marlin 8s, they had the MT200's um, Shimano hydraulic brakes on them. So it's not like they 
don't have them at all. They just, Trek decided not to put them on these. So, um, that's disappointing. Saying that, it's still a pretty cool looking bike. I really like the pedals that I put on there. Uh, I like this, it holds my phone. Uh, it helps me get around town, listen to some music, uh, enjoy the ride more. And if I need to, if somehow I get lost in town, what's the quickest way home? I can, um, I can put in some maps. Um, uh, my wife's bike, like I say, there's not as many differences as I thought. She, I've got a medium large frame and she's got a small frame and the small frame comes with a little curve there. So she chose this really pretty orange. To me, it looks like a, a Tennessee orange, if you like that. So, um, uh, yeah, um, hers is really cool. Comes with the Sun Tour forks. Um, it comes with the same shifters as mine. Now the same brakes as mine. Um, the same tires as mine. Uh, the same Shimano Dior derailleur. Um, I mean, pretty much almost everything besides the forks is the same. Well, I take it back. This is a different crank. So this right here is a, uh, I think it's a alpha drive crank and that's supposed to be an upgrade. So, um, so as far as the upgrades that I have on this bike, as compared to the Marlin, is I get a supposedly a better crank, supposedly a better um, front shock, and um, yeah, the brakes are the same, which is disappointing. But as far as colors go, they actually had a different color that I liked a whole bunch more in the Marlin 7, but they just didn't have it. And if you don't have it, you don't have it. But I still think it looks pretty dang cool. It's navy blue with silver. It's kind of subdued. It's, it's a matte navy blue. But uh, on one of these pedals, obviously they do, they definitely have more grip to these pedals, so they are more functional. But they also, to me, they just make it pop more. So I think eventually it'd be kind of cool to incorporate that blue somewhere else to kind of make it blend together a little bit more but yeah i like the pedals um like i say my wife has got the uh the orange uh to me it's a tennessee type orange and um this is the this is aluminum frame it's pretty light it's the what they call the alpha silver aluminum frame i want to go over my kid's bike we were we were wanting to get my kid a bike as an early um, birthday present and we wanted to do it early just so he could uh, enjoy the season and ride around and we were looking at all these bikes used bikes and some of them were beaten up and um, and just really scratched up but we wanted to get him something nice uh, so it'll last and maybe be handed down to his his little brother and we were looking at a Trek pre-caliber so we went down um, and they had one at the store um, and they said, hey, listen, we actually just got these in because there was a bike, the bike store had gone out of business. And so they actually said that these bikes were nicer and they are, um, they are nicer. in the sense that this one is, they had some that were actually very comparable to the Trek Precaliber. But this one, um, was highly specked out it was the most specked out kids norco bike they had so norco norco storm uh i'm not gonna say how much it cost but it cost plenty but we got 30 percent off so this was a, a a a really expensive bike um it was probably about 300 dollars more than the trek pre-caliber put it that way but we got 30% off, and so we ended up paying only like 20 bucks more compared to the pre-caliber. And with that, we got um, recognizable uh, front shocks. We got Suntour front shocks. We actually got some hydraulic brakes. Uh, a Shimano 
um, cassette, um, a, what do you call it, attorney, uh, real derailleur, what is this, a, a Samox crank, I, I don't know what that one is, but pretty much what I really liked is that, yeah, it's got a nice aluminum frame, which is light, it's got paddle shifters, Shimano paddle shifters, and look, it has the Tektro as well, the Tektro brakes. Uh, so it's a six speed and what I like about it is um, the brakes I mean it's it's a really big upgrade for the brakes compared to the what they had um, and I think the uh, pre caliber also had the uh, the twisting brakes instead of the paddle shifters and I like that a lot better too so it's a pretty sweet bike it's a pretty sweet color uh, he looks really good on it. He's flying down the down the roads with it and uh, loving it. So these are our three bikes. Um, it sounds like I was a Debbie Downer on this bike, but I actually really do like my bike. Um, and the customer service really wasn't that bad. Uh, I'm. I just the only thing is, if I had known it didn't have everything it was supposed to have on there, then I might have decided to to downgrade save the money and put that money towards a dropper seat and so uh that's why i was a little bothered by it because i prioritized uh brakes over a dropper seat and i was like well maybe i'll get the dropper seat later but now i realize hey i actually could have gotten the dropper seat a lot sooner um if i had known that it was going to have the same brakes so uh, my suggestion, if you want these two, if you really want the name brand Rock Shot, which is totally cool, if that's what you want, um, then go ahead and get the Marlin 7. If you uh, feel like the Sun Tour shocks are just fine, um, and, you know, look at the other things. I mean, is is the crank going to really make a difference? I don't know. Um, the brakes are the same. So, um, anyhow, I do like my bikes. Well, last one thing, uh, we actually have two more kids and neither one of them can ride. So, uh, let me show you in here. We got this kid trailer here and it is, uh, the kids love it. So it can hold two of the kids. We ride them all around, all around town and the neighborhoods. Uh, we even go up and down little ditches and stuff like that. Um, and so it's been a blast. So the whole family can get out, uh, enjoy the outdoors, get a little sweat going on. And, uh, uh, we got this off of Amazon. It's in step. And I'm willing to bet that about, you know, three or four years when, when all our kids are riding bikes and we have no use for it, I'm willing to bet we could just sell it and get at least half our money back. Um, so I do feel like it would be it's worth the purchase so um anyhow like comment subscribe tell me what you think do you think i should have stuck with the marlin 7 or do you think the you know the brakes um are equal quality you know you got one brakes made in taiwan and china that's the tektro and the other brakes shimano made in japan uh is it really an upgrade or is it just name recognition? Maybe it's just main name recognition and it doesn't really matter. Maybe they work the same. I just know I was confused because in one second the shop was like, oh yeah, the Shimano's are better. And then when they realized I was questioning why they didn't have the Shimano brakes when it, this website said I was supposed to have them, uh, then they were like, oh no, they're the same. They're just as good. So. Anyhow, tell me what you think, man. Like I say, I just I just feel like the bike shop was put in a tough spot because of the global supply problem. You know, they have to do something to stay open, you know. But like I say, I, 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 if I had known, I probably would have just chose the Marlin 6. So hit me up. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe.